God uses your hardships, your sufferings, and your pain for good. Think of it this way. Nothing that you go through in life is ever wasted. In fact, brokenness is God's ultimate desire for you. Now, that might sound harsh or seem like it goes against common sense, but God's purposes can best be met in you when you become less and He becomes more. So don't miss this truth. God loves you, and because His love for you is so great, He will use any number of things to rid you of your self-reliance and your self-will. But when a believer resists this process, there are consequences. And we can hinder our relationship with Him, hurt those closest to us, or even feel passed over for God's blessings and His opportunities. And it's this last consequence that concerns one of our viewers. She wrote to us, In one of your sermons, you mentioned being put on a shelf. What exactly does that mean? How does it happen? And if a child of God ever gets put on the shelf, will God someday take them off the shelf again? Well, here's what it means. It's very simple. To be put on the shelf by God means God ceases to use that person either for the rest of their life or for a period of time. People being used of God, many, in many ways He uses people. But being used by God and obeying God all run together. So what happens? When we choose to be disobedient to Him, there comes a time when that disobedience is continuous that God simply sets them on the shelf. Now, if you will carefully observe this, here's what you'll notice. People that oftentimes really impressed you or stirred your heart, moved you for God, or you saw them being very effective, very fruitful in their life, oftentimes lots of joy and happiness in their life, and all of a sudden, the fire is gone, the power is gone, the joy is gone, and the effectiveness is gone. Why? Because of some sin in their life, some deliberate disobedience. That is, God doesn't put people on the shelf because they make mistakes. He doesn't put people on the shelf because they don't always do their very best. We all would fall into that. But He t puts people on the shelf because of a deliberate willful act of disobedience that's very, very important to Almighty God. They choose, to, they choose to refuse to follow His will. They get out of fellowship with Him. They begin to make choices in life. Instead of seeking the mind of God, they want to do it their way. And so denial does not change this position. They can say, well, I'm not, I'm not on the shelf. But if you watch carefully, you can tell they are. There are grave consequences to being shelved consequences to yourself if it happens, to other people, to the kingdom of God. And so the question comes, will God take someone off the shelf? Listen carefully. It depends on several things. The nature of the act of disobedience, the scope of that disobedience, and the damage done by that disobedience. Sometimes over a period of time or after a period of time, God may take that person off the shelf and begin to use them again, sometimes never, depending upon those things. Now, when we say never, that doesn't mean that everybody who gets put on the shelf is never used by God again. When there is genuine repentance, restitution, renewed commitment by that person, God may begin to use them again, but that's no guarantee. This is why we have to guard our life, guard our testimony and our service to the Lord. For the simple reason serving Him is serious business. And opening the Word of God and leading other people and guiding them and being an influence and being a witness and being a testimony and having a part in that person's life. When that person is put on the shelf, the damage is beyond our comprehension. We have to be careful how we live in our life. Well, I'm thankful you've joined us today for this broadcast of In Touch. And until next time, remember, Brokenness is God's requirement for maximum usefulness.